Hello and welcome to a mini trading tutorial from OptionsAtoZ.com, the website dedicated to teaching investors the art and science of options trading. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the expected price calculator in the Thinkorswim platform. Thinkorswim is a brokerage firm that specializes in options trading and provides you with the industry's most powerful options trading software, and it's absolutely free just for opening an account. You can trade options, stocks, mutual funds, futures, commodities, and currencies at the click of a mouse. It even has live streaming CNBC TV to make sure you stay up to date with the latest breaking news and market commentary. For more information, please visit their website at www.thinkorswim.com. The expected price calculator is found on the Trade tab down here at the bottom whenever you place an order. It is an invaluable trader's tool that tells you the theoretical stock price required to fill your option order at a particular limit. In order to understand how it works, you have to understand an options theoretical price. The Black-Scholes model is a theoretical pricing model or calculator. While there are many option pricing models, they all generate similar results, but the Black-Scholes is the original and most well-known, so let's take a look at it. The Black-Scholes model asks you to enter six pieces of information. They are the stock price, the exercise price or the strike price, risk-free rate of interest, time to expiration, if any dividends are paid over the life of the option, and if so, how much, and finally, the volatility. Once you enter these six factors, it will then tell you what the price of a call and a put option should be. How is that possible? Let's find the answer by looking at the way a market maker fills an option order. Assume you wish to buy a one-year $50 call option. What's it worth? Well, let's break it down. First of all, in order to fill that order, the market maker must sell you one contract since he has to take the opposite side of the trade. By selling you the call, the market maker now has unlimited upside risk. That's because your potential unlimited gains are his risk. To combat that risk, he may decide to buy 100 shares of the underlying stock, which we'll assume is also trading for $50. But now there is a new risk. At this point, the market maker is long 100 shares of stock plus the short $50 call he sold you. Because he owns the shares, he's now at risk if the stock price falls. To hedge that risk, he could buy a $50 put. And let's assume he pays $2 for the put, or $200 total. The package of the three assets you're looking at here, long stock, short call, and a long put, has a special name. It is called a conversion. A conversion has a unique property in that it results in a guaranteed sale of stock at a particular price. In this case, the market maker is guaranteed to sell his shares for $50 per share no matter what happens to the underlying stock. For instance, assume the stock price is $50 at the end of the year. The put and the call expire worthless and the market maker sells his shares in the open market for $50. If the stock price is above $50 at the end of the year, the put option expires worthless and the market maker will get assigned on this $50 call and he will have to deliver his shares for the $50 strike price. So again, he receives $50 per share. And finally, if the stock price is below 50 at the end of the year, the short call expires worthless and the market maker will exercise his long $50 put and sell his shares for the $50 strike. No matter what happens to the stock's price, the conversion ensures that the market maker has a guaranteed sale of his 100 shares in a year for $50 per share or $5,000 total. Remember, we're trying to find out how much the $50 call is worth. So far we've established that the market maker has paid $5,000 for his 100 shares of stock and we assume that he paid $200 for the put for a total of $5,200. Knowing this information, can we determine what the value of the $50 call should be? The answer is yes once we recall that the market maker is guaranteed to receive $5,000 in one year. Let's assume the risk-free interest rate is 5%. If that's true, then the conversion must be worth $4,762 today. And we know that because mathematically, $4,762 is the amount required to deposit today in order to have exactly $5,000 
in one year if interest rates are 5%. In financial terms, we would say the $5,000 future value of that package is worth only $4,762 today. So what is the conversion worth today? We know the market maker has spent $5,200 on a package that is only theoretically worth $4,762. Therefore, he has overpaid by the difference of $438. How will the market maker make up this difference? He will make it up by selling you the call for $4.38. The call is therefore worth $4.38 per contract. Let's use an actual Black-Scholes model, such as this one from the Chicago Board Options Exchange, to see if it agrees with our result. I'm going to enter a $50 stock price, $50 strike or exercise price, 360 days to expiration, 15.76% volatility, 5% interest rates, and zero dividends paid through the life of the option. If I click on Calculate right here, the model tells us what the call and put are worth. Now the reason I chose 15.76% volatility is because that's the number that just happens to make the put value worth exactly $2, which was an assumption that I made. I assumed the market maker paid $2. And you can see that the model is telling us the call should be worth $4.38, exactly what we calculated by hand. So the theoretical price of an option can be determined. It's all done by organizing a package of assets into a risk-free position and then finding today's value of that package based on the current interest rate. Now that you understand an option's theoretical price, let's see how Thinkorswim uses this information to help you make better decisions. The expected value calculator is found on the Trade tab and will appear at the bottom once you place an option order. For instance, let's assume you want to place an option order on Microsoft. You start by typing MSFT in the quote box. Select from your option expirations down here below. Let's say you want to buy a December 17 call. I left mouse click here on the asking price. And that brings up our order down here below. And right below that, you can see here is the expected Microsoft price. You can see that Thinkorswim has defaulted to a limit price of 265, exactly the current asking price. But let's say that we didn't want to pay 265, maybe we want to pay $2.50. If I select $2.50, what this is telling me now is that we need Microsoft to fall 22 cents. That's what's required. That's what the REQ stands for. It needs to fall 22 cents to a price of 1849 before that call option would be worth $2.50. On the other hand, rather than $2.50, let's say we wanted to buy it above the market, let's say $2.75. Why might we do this? Well, if it's in a fast market, we may not want to put a market order in, but we also want to kind of ensure that we will get the order filled. So we might put a price above the current market. If I'm willing to pay $2.75 for this call, the expected price calculator says we can afford to have Microsoft rise by 11 cents. In other words, we have now it's showing 13 cents to spare. We can have Microsoft rise to a price of 1884, up about 13 cents from its current price, and still theoretically be able to get that option filled for 275. It's important to understand that in neither case, whether you're buying below the market or above, does it mean that you are guaranteed a fill or that you are due a fill? This is just a theoretical pricing model and what Thinkorswim has done here is they've just worked it in reverse. What they're saying in this example is that if we are willing to pay 275, what stock price makes an options price worth 275? So they've just worked it backwards and they're saying right now it's 1884. So the expected price calculator is an invaluable tool to tell you how realistic your order is to get filled under the current conditions. If you are interested in advanced training on the Thinkorswim platform, please visit www.optionsa-z.com. I have five-week Thinkorswim training classes where I'll show you how to use the system and, more importantly, 
why you would select one type of order or feature over another. And for those new to Options, please check out the new Options 101 ebook available at OptionsAtoZ.com. I hope you've enjoyed the video and now understand how to use the expected value calculator in the Thinkorswim platform.